Good morning, welcome to BBC News. I'm Victoria Derbyshire. Here are the headlines. A big increase in coronavirus testing across the country. The Office for National Statistics says 150,000 people a fortnight will be tested by October. This is a, 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 an almost 10 times expansion in our single most important tool for making policy decisions. A rise in inflation means rail fares are going to rise by 1.6%, despite people being urged to head out and return to work. Universities write to the Education Secretary calling for more cash to help with the cost of taking in extra students after that government U-turn on A-levels. Well, thank you very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all. The US Democrats formally choose Joe Biden as their presidential candidate at the party's online convention. And hands-free driving could arrive on UK roads by spring next year as the government launches a consultation on the technology. Good morning. There's going to be a big expansion in free coronavirus testing to help monitor the spread of COVID-19 right across the UK. From October, 150,000 of us will be tested every fortnight as part of the ONS household survey. Health Secretary Matt Hancock has said the expansion of testing in the community will give the government a better understanding of where the virus is spreading. So to be more accurate, to get more localised information, to have more, um, more nuance in the information that we get, um, we're going to expand it essentially by almost 10 times so that we get more detail.